Hey folks, Joel here. Now, on today's blog, I want to focus on something that's very important, which is so many people say, look, I've got these leads in my lead capture system. Now what do I do? So if you're brand new to us, what I invite you to do first is below this video is a direct link to another blog post that I did that shows you everything that you get as a member. Let me summarize it quickly. We've done all the done for you heavy lifting. We provide you all the ways of generating free traffic. We provide you the websites or the lead capture pages that you can use to drive traffic to. Then we provide you the lead capture system that you can use to follow up with your prospects by email. Okay, It's a completely done for you system. You don't need to know HTML. You don't need to know anything technical. But there's a breakage in communication that I want to talk to you guys about today of now you've generated three, four, five leads in your lead capture system. What do you do now? And a lot of people say, well, why do I need to do anything? Because Joel, you've got a follow-up series of emails that those leads get, which are designed to generate no like, and trust and ultimately create sales for me. Yes, but technology only goes so far. And that's what I want to focus on today, okay? So people are coming in to your lead capture system, okay, your, your web page. This, if this is your web page, and of course, there's a little subscribe button. And so right here, they're putting in their email address, which puts them from here. Okay, this is your headliner, right? We've done all that for you. Okay, people read the headliner. They come in, they put in their email address, they opt in. They now become a lead in your lead capture system. That's step number one. And so many people are reluctant to reach out to those leads because they say, well, they're getting emails from the company, so why should I send them emails too? I don't want to inundate them, okay? Now, focus your attention on as if you were that lead itself. People read the headliner, okay? So as an example, one of our headliners is, if you use Facebook and you want to make money from home, well, you can collect 100% commissions with this brand new program. If that person opts in, on that, that's a commitment on their part, and you now know their mindset. They use Facebook, and they are interested in making money from home. It's completely different from cold calling in your local area. Okay, That's why a lot of people are saying, well, I don't want to reach out to these leads. I don't want to do any cold calling, that kind of stuff. Here's the difference. In network marketing, there's the company, which is myself and our great team, our staff and everything like that. And then there's you guys, okay? This is a why for you. As leads come in, their perception is that they're very, very disconnected from the company. Why is that? Most people who are even customers today realize that our company is very busy. There's no way I could spend one-on-one -on -one time with any of you guys anymore. But what I'm showing you what to do is exactly what I did when I started the company. When I had only just a few leads or just a few sales or just a few customers, well, that's where you're starting at right now. You've joined up. You've got the system in place. Now you're starting to generate leads. The question becomes, what do you do with those leads? First thing that you'll want to do is, again, number one, create a new email account, whether it's Yahoo, Gmail, or Hotmail for your business, but make that email address seem personalized. So uh, don't go, if you're, if you're in Got Backup, don't go create an email address called gotbackupnow at gmail.com, or if you're in Pure Leverage, don't create an email address called pureleverage at gmail.com. What you wanna do is create an email address that seems personalized to you. Very, very important, why? Is when people are joining in the leads, as, as leads in the system, they're not looking they're looking for two things. They already know the company exists. They're looking for people. They're looking for leadership. They're looking for dialogue and they're looking for communication from other people. That's you. So when you give them a, what, an email address that seems personalized, then they're like, wow, this is a real person. So the things that you want to give them in your email, in the, in the, in the footer of your email, is definitely your Facebook link. Now, I recommend that you create a secondary profile for your business, okay? And, but again, still make it more personalized. Give them a real email address, so create a second email address. The reason why you don't want to use your main Facebook page and your main email address is, you know, if you're using your main email address for your real friends and correspondence, it's going to get mixed up. 
Same with your Facebook page. If you're using the same Facebook page for your real friends versus people that might be interested in the business, it's going to get mixed up, okay? If you can, a real phone number. That is one of the critical components that I used for starting my business. Of course, Facebook didn't exist at that time. And any other ways of form of contact. So a Skype contact, um, whatever else, okay? But for sure an email, for sure a Facebook profile, for sure a, a Skype address. And if you can, give them a phone number. Now again, if you have a secondary phone number, that's great. I wouldn't give my home phone number because you never know what type of people you're gonna prospect into your business. But it, it just adds a level of personalization. So. People always say, what is the first thing that Gmail? Well, again, when people opt in here, you know that they want to make money from home or they wouldn't have opted in in the first place. That's obvious, right? So what are the types of individuals out there who want to make money from home? Well, it's people, there's two types of people. There's people who are really financially strapped so they need to make more money from home or they're tired of their J-O-B, they're tired of working 40 hours a week, they're tired of the daily grind, they're just sick and tired of the life that they have right now. And then the other type of professional are the true professionals, I mean like the doctors, the lawyers, the dentists, the surgeons out there. You know, as an, as an example, one of my best friends in Canada is a surgeon, but he thinks I live have the lifestyle of a king because he's an emergency surgeon. And even though he makes really good money, he said to me, he goes, you know, when you're going through medical school, they don't give you the inclination that you're going to get paged at midnight to, to go perform an emergency surgery. You're going to get paged at 3 a.m. to go do surgery. Then you're going to go to sleep. Then you're going to get paged at noon again to go do surgery. He goes, even though I make really good money, my daily grind and my life is literally, uh, you know, a living hell. That's the exact words that he used. I don't mean to use any time, type of cuss words, but that's how he felt. He goes... And the other problem is, Joel, I do take three or four holidays a year because I absolutely need them. But the problem is, if I'm not performing surgeries, I'm not making money. So if I go away for a week, I'm losing anywhere from thirty to $50,000. So those are the types of people that basically are tired of the daily grind, right? If somebody's financially free already, if somebody's really happy with their lifestyle, if somebody really loves their job, they're not going to end up on this page. They're not going to be looking for other ways of making money, okay? Now, investors might be and so forth. So the point I'm trying to make is these people are broken down. They're tired. They want to change their lives. So the number one thing you want to do when you're introducing yourself by email is talk with conviction. Again, leadership, right? They're looking for a leader to help them change their lives. So if you're, it doesn't matter if you're tired of the daily grind as well, as long as you talk to them with positivity energy, conviction, charisma, they're going to be magnetically attracted to you. So on this blog are some example emails that you can send to people, but it's going to be something to the effect of, and this is how I started my business, hey, this is Joel Terrian, and I see that you opted in to find out more about our company, and let me tell you that we are the best in the industry. I'm absolutely uh, here to help you grow your business from home. I'm going to do whatever it takes and you're either on board with me or you're not, but I'm going to make this happen. Conviction and so forth. And so when I only had a few leads, I emailed those leads and believe me, when I emailed those leads, my Skype contact, I got Skype contacts right away. Okay. Uh, when I was able to get a business phone number, if I sent an email to those leads with our phone number, the phone rang. Okay, people want correspondence. They want dialogue. That's where the big part comes in of net work marketing. That's where the work is involved. But the difference is you're not cold calling. You're not trying to push your ideas onto people. You're not trying to force them into something. They've already shown interest by opting in off your page. So they're a like-minded individual who believes in the home-based business industry, whether it's direct sales, network marketing, GVO, got backup, whatever, it doesn't matter. So when you email these people, they will be in touch with you without question, okay? And that's where the difference is, is these people are looking to work with somebody of leadership. There's such a huge disconnect from the company to the lead that even though we're doing follow-ups, they're looking for that one-on-one -on -one mentorship with you. That's how you start your business, and that's how I started my business. Now that we have over 300,000 end users, 
I can't do one-on-ones anymore. Um, on my blog, or sorry, on my webinar last night, there's like 565,000 minutes in a day. If I spend just one minute in a day with the 300,000 people, right? Well, I would be working 60 hours a week just talking to a person for one minute a day. It's not feasible and it's not possible. So even though we've done everything for you, this is the part that you absolutely need to do. You need to be in personal contact with your leads, giving them all forms of communication so that you can build your business. Now you might be saying Joel, to yourself, well Joel, that sounds like a job. Yes and no. What you're going to find is the more dialogue and the more correspondence and the more you build relationships and have fun with these people by staying very positive, more and more people are going to go from leads to customers, right? They're going to go from, a, from an L to a C, from an L to a C, from a lead to a customer. Now, once you have about 10 customers, you can go and acquire more customers. The difference is what I'm talking to you about now is you go and replicate that education to those customers and distributors that you've brought in. That's what creates the true duplication in this industry, is you're only responsible with work for working and working with five to 10 people. What you're ultimately doing is teaching them leadership skills, teaching them, so this guy's a customer now, this customer has generated a lead. Now, there's a disconnect from you to this lead right here, right? There's a disconnect. So you want to teach this lead, this customer, sorry, if they became a customer, how to interact and correspond with those leads. That's where the simple duplication comes in. So absolutely, there is work involved in this industry, but you're working with people who have already shown an interest in what you're doing. And it's not a lot of work because what you're doing is you're working with five to 10 people, but you're teaching those people those same duplication principles, those leadership principles, those charismatic principles, and it just keeps duplicating down and down and down. That's why we need you guys. As a company, even though we're doing follow-ups with these people, none of our staff can do one-on-ones. None of our staff can network one-on-one -on -one with any of our customers. We're here to support the services that we do, support the autoresponder, support God Backup, support Pure Leverage, but we cannot do the intimate one-on-ones. That's why we do the webinars, but even when we do the webinars, okay, if there's two, three, four, five hundred people on those webinars, those people inherently know that them being able to do a one-on-one -on -one correspondence with me is just not feasible or possible. That's why you need to do the one-on-ones with them. So that's your blog for today, okay? You really, so just to recap, once you start generating leads, follow up with those leads three times per week minimum, giving them all the contact information so that they can de de develop a relationship, a true belly to belly relationship with you. And that's what's going to turn your leads into customers. And then once they become a customer, you duplicate that as they start to generate leads for their business. So again, even though we've done all the heavy lifting for you to acquire leads, Follow up with those leads in a personal fashion, and I guarantee you, you'll grow a massive business here at GVO, Pure Leverage, and Got Backup. If you don't, you know, you're going to get a disconnect, and those leads conversion into sales is going to be much, much less. So listen, if you have any questions at all, just post them here on the blog. If not, I'll see you on our next blog, and have yourself an awesome day.